one more time we have the type of fruit with all these uh, properties then we have a fruit one called mango and other things and fruit to orange similar but things get really interesting when we talk about the optional properties so suppose just like previously i want to add a price and price should be number now this is added and everywhere where we have used the fruit type is asking for the price field or price property but i don't want to add the price or give the price property to every kind of fruit i only want in mango so if i give in the mango a price let's say 10 then that's okay fruit 1 the mango is happy but fruit 2 orange is not happy so how we can make this price field price property as an optional that means i sometime want or sometime i don't want this means i can do one thing like hey price could be number or it could be undefined so this is okay but still you can see we are having it's asking for the price so i can say that hey price is actually undefined i don't know about that so now typescript is happy on this but this is not actually the optional thing we have not omitted we have not skipped the price we have to define it although it could be undefined or maybe just null that's also going to work but if i remove it it's asking for that so in this case i want to make this field as an optional and i will use the question mark so when i say price or the property name with a question mark then you can see it's not asking and even if you and if you provide it that's totally fair that's totally fine so this is called the optional parameters now what if i want to log let's say log fruit one dot price and if i see here on node i need to do node yeah you can see 10 is here now what if i do the same thing for the fruit two and you can see it's undefined it's okay because we know that there is no pricing in the fruit now let's create a function and i want to give a function and say get price and i'm passing the price field here and this is going to be a number and then i will return the price okay and uh, let's add 10 to it okay so it's very simple thing so i can say get price and if i have a value of 10 let's uh, just comment this one and run it we get 20 because 10 is uh, maybe you can say the uh, something tax x kind of thing now let's do the same thing for the fruit one so i say fruit one dot price so we have passed it and we can get the result 20 is there because the fruit one pricing is 10 but still typescript is not happy with this thing because it says that hey you have defined this price as optional what if i remove this null from here still it says that it could be undefined or number so if it is a number that's okay but undefined is not going to uh, work here because you are doing some mathematical operation some numeric operation you cannot do that so what we can do to actually say to typescript that hey type typescript it's always going to have the value so first we can say that hey i want this to be like this hmm it's not working so what we can do here when we are defining this and i can add a exclamation mark by adding this exclamation mark we are telling to the typescript that hey typescript this is never going to be undefined or null it's always going to have the value inside it so we are forcing to the typescript to have 
to skip the undefined part and pass the numeric part. So TypeScript is now again happy with all these things. But what if we do the same thing with the fruit too? You can see we are forcing once again. So if I remove the exclamation mark, it's again doing and we are forcing. Although we know that there is no pricing here, but this is kind of hack, <laughs> you can say, or uh, saying to the TypeScript that, hey, don't care about this. I care about all these things. So not a number is here because we said that this is always going to be a number and not a number or undefined plus 10 is not a number. So this is the thing you have to be very careful when using this exclamation mark when forcing for non-null assertion this is non-null assertion we are forcing you need to care about that one thing and second is you need to care about this when you are using optional parameter so it could be here or it could be here also so i say discount is also a number then you can see it's asking for the discount but I say that hey this is going to be a default value of zero so if I say discount that's always valid but if you don't want to provide any default value then you can say that hey this could be a optional parameter so this these lines are hope okay when we are using this function when we are passing it's okay but here it says that hey object could be undefined because we have said that it's optional thing so one more time if you want to skip this you can force typescript that hey i will care about these things so this is okay but uh, obviously you need to use this like if we have discount then only do this part okay so this is how we can understand about the optional parameter and non-null assertions in TypeScript, which is really useful and handy and a little scary. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up and comment your views upon the optional parameter and non-null assertion do you like or dislike. And if you have not subscribed, hit subscribe button to Bitfilms YouTube channel and uh, like Bitfilms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.